Welcome back to my online video tutorial series. Today's topic is paper size. There are three factors to be considered when selecting appropriate size paper for a drawing. One, we must consider the size of the paper. Two, the size of the drawing. Three, the intended scale. The intended scale is relative to, relative to the type of drawing. For mechanical drawing, which are normally smaller, typically one-to-one -one scale is ideal. For building drawing details, like footing detail, ridge detail, eave detail, stiffener detail, we normally use scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 20. For floor plan, foundation plan, sectional view, we normally use a scale of 1 to 50. There are some standard size papers that we normally use for drawing. The standard paper sizes are A4, A3, A2, A1, and legal. A4 paper is our standard letter size paper that we use in our everyday computer. It has dimensions of 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters or 11 by 8 and a half. Our A3 or tabloid size paper is a standard size paper used by CSEC and some architectural firm. This paper is twice the size of the A4. It is 420 millimeters by 297 millimeters or 11 by 17. A3. A3 paper is 420 millimeters by 597 or 17 by 11. This is more common for architectural drawing for building. A1 has a dimension of 594 millimeters by 841 millimeters. This is 24 by 36. We have legal size paper, which is the one that we normally use in our regular household or domestic printer. It is 14 inches by 11 inches or 350 millimeters by 210 millimeters. This is a typical example of a legal sheet of paper. It, is, it has a length of 14 inches by eight and a half inches or 335 by 210 or 212 millimeters. This is our tabloid or A3 sheet of paper. This is the one that is normally used or recommended by CXC. This is also used for some architectural firm. Uh, these papers are normally used for building drawing. It has a dimension of 17 inches by 11 inches or 420 millimeters by 297 millimeters. As you have mentioned earlier, there are three factors to be considered when, when working out paper size, drawing size, and intended scale. This is a typical A4 sheet of paper. Here we have a breakdown of a A4 sheet of paper which is 11 inches by 8.5 inches or 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters. For a, if we intend to use a 110 scale, a 110 scale means therefore that um, we would multiply 297 by 210. We would want to determine the maximum size drawing that can fit onto this 1 to 10 scale we would multiply these dimensions by 10. When we multiply 297 by 10, we get 2970. 210 by 10, we get 2100. In like manner, we multiply the same, two, the same factor, 297 by 20, we get 5900. 20 by that, we end up with this. For a 1 to 50 scale, the maximum size drawing that can fit onto that sheet of paper is 14,850 14, by 10,500. 
for a 1 to 10 scale, the maximum size drawing that can fit is 29,700 by 21,100. Here we have a breakdown of a A3 sheet of paper. A3 sheet of paper is 17 inches by 11 inches or 420 millimeters by 297 millimeters. To calculate the maximum size drawing that can fit onto a A3 paper, knowing given the dimensions, width by length or length by width, with a scale of 1 to 10. A 1 to 10 scale means that the drawing is reduced by 1 10 of the original size. In order to, to determine the size of the drawing, we must multiply the scale factor by the dimensions. In this case, 420. 420 multiplied by 10 gives us 4200 millimeters. 297 by 10 give us 2970 millimeters on a 1 to 20 scale the maximum dimension will be 8400 millimeters by 5940 on a 1 to 50 scale the maximum length that this paper will be able to accommodate is 21000 Maximum width 14,850. In like manner, on a 1 to 100 scale, the maximum length this drawing paper can accommodate is, 4, is 42,000. Maximum width 29,700 millimeters. So, knowing all of these, we are better able to calculate if in advance if the drawing can fit onto the paper. If we have a predetermined drawing or, or, or a sketch of a, the overall size drawing, once we determine, we can determine what scale we want to use to generate the size paper which that can fit on. If we don't know which scale we want, we have some cases where we might have the size of the drawing, we determine the size paper, so we need to calculate a scale that fits onto that. So these are, these are, in this case, one factor has to be constant. It's either we're going to stick with a standard drawing size paper and manipulate the scale to fit that, or we stick with a standard size drawing paper, standard scale, and we manipulate the size of the drawing. In either case, all three factors are important.